Yo, yo, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So I pipe your tea on Wayne and Puma. Welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, my name is Patrick T. I do reviews on all kinds of kicks and trainers and training related stuff. My goal is to try and help you decide whether or not to cop or drop. So I try and give you as much information as I can. If there's kicks you're looking for, I may have done some reviews on them already. So make sure you have a look at the link in the bio up here and it will take you to any trainers and have a look and go through them. And I hope it helps. If you're returning, welcome back people. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're enjoying the videos. But if you haven't, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. And definitely hit the like button. But to everyone, comment. Let's chat. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you dislike them, like them, whatever. There's all there's all things we can talk about. I like talking. It just makes it's just nice to interact with people. Man, sneaker industry, sneaker community is nice, you know? It can be nice. So love meeting new people. Anyway, let's talk about me part with T on Wayne and Puma. So I've got an invite, basically saying, yes, come along. JD are promoting their Bubblegum remix of the Puma CA Pros. Now, theirs called the CA Pro Lux Grade. I think that's correct. And we went to this venue in London and they had music. The, the trainers were everywhere, all different colorways. Um, like I said, they had Tion Wayne doing a PA, so we parted with him, dropped a few of his tunes. And it was just a good vibe. Drinks were flowing. It was nice. But I walked away with a nice little goodie bag, Puma stuff, etc., etc. Obviously, they didn't give me trainers. It would have been nice, you know. I should have said, "Look, I do YouTube. Give me a pair of trainers to review." But I, I was just happy to be there. But I like the kicks. Now, I'm not a Puma guy, but I left and I said, "I need to do a review on these." So I got my hands on these. So let's just get straight into view what everyone's waiting for. So first things first, we have the Puma box. It's a standard box. I haven't had Puma for a long time. Well, no, I have had some Pumas actually, but it's just a standard green box with a Puma symbol on the front with the Puma logo there. Um, that travels around the back as well and on the sides. And the details, it says CA Pro Lux Edge Puma White Puma Team Gold. So it's a triple white Puma with a bit of gold in it, but you can see in there. Nothing more to report in the box. There's no additional laces and just tissue paper. So let's just get straight into the kick itself. Now here we have it. We have, let's just call it a triple white. Really? Weight terms, you can feel it. It's there. Would I say it's heavier than an Air Force One? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But let's do what we normally do. Let's start with the sole. So first off, as you can see, the sole itself, the outsole, has just got ridges going through it in straight lines, got a, a molded outline around it, and on the heel you can see the Puma emblem right there. The midsole itself has a little bits to it. You've got the Puma embossed in the heel on a little kind of molded tab line. And if you go to the front of the foot where you've got the kick guard around the toe box, that's got another little extra tab lines around that. Those are the same throughout the middle of the shoe and cut off in the middle of the foot as they do on the outside there. The upper itself is a tumble leather upper 
or it's meant to have the tumble lever upper effect okay it's quite nice it's quite hard it's not really that soft the overlay is pure clear leather in white really quite thick feels quite padded and the puma sign itself is definitely tumble leather and that has a kind of back line of leather around it as well just edging it around in a smooth kind of leather effect underneath that you've got some perforated holes just above the puma sign itself and above that in gold you've got embossed the puma sign or puma word and the little puma cat if we move around to the heel of the shoe you've got another overlay which is quite thick and at the top of that you've got another overlay which has got embossed in gold the puma cat on the back if we go up towards the inner line of the shoe this is a canvas or cloth material very padded actually it feels really nice and the insole is not it's quite thick it's not as thick as i felt but it's quite thick uh it's that's got the same line as it has on the inner lining and on the middle with that you've got in gold the puma signing or puma logos again the bottom of it is blue very squishy you know it feels quite comfortable and embossing that you've got the puma signing again if we go to the tongue the tab on the tongue is sewn on in leather and embossed in that is gold underlay and the white puma words at the top and a puma cap at the bottom the tongue itself is a canvas material and inside the inner lining is the same as the lining of the shoe itself the laces are pure white which go really well and that's it really there's not much more to go about inside of the shoe you've got the puma overlay again in that tumbled leather but this time just underneath that you've got a little saw tab with puma written in gold just on the inside as well don't usually get that it's usually on the outside you get but obviously they've got puma there so it's just another little added element to it the difference i've seen between these and the original ca pros is that the midsole seems much thicker the lace holes have a different design to them at the top and bottom they're like a triangle design rather than just a normal pumped circle in there for lace to go through and that just adds a little touch it makes it different they seem higher they seem more bulkier than the original ca pros so this is the slight bubblegum remix jd have added to this but jd sports these are exclusive jd sports you can't get them anywhere else or i haven't seen them anywhere else you can get the k ca pros almost everywhere don't know about the triple white but you they're not going to have those elements which i've said to you before such as the gold puma signage and the redesigned eyelets for the laces these are not true to size i've had to go full size up because i felt very tight in my true size i had to tell me it just wasn't comfortable I, I, not that i like tight shoes anyway but it just wasn't comfortable it's too much and i know that i couldn't have worn them for a whole day so i've gone a full size up i don't do half sizes in my size so i couldn't tell if half size would be great for you or not but if you have a look maybe half a size might be great for you but for me this was fine full size up i'm not slipping or anything nothing doesn't feel too roomy or anything like that so it's almost like a yeezy where it's not true to size it's slightly smaller in terms of cost these cost 70 pounds <laughs> 70 pounds now you you might see that these are quite similar or in the same vein as the air force ones but Air Force One that this is £40 cheaper. So if you're looking for a nice clean white trainer, leather and quality, then definitely have a look at these Pumas because you won't be let down. They do them in all different colorways. So you, there's, there's something for everyone there if you're not looking for triple white. I don't know if they crease, I'm not sure yet. The way it looks, it doesn't look like they will because of just where the laces stop and the toe box, etc. But you never know. You never know. I might do a month's review right later on and let you know how I get on with them. But these are definitely ones I'm going to be rocking. 70 pounds, you really can't go wrong in the relative scheme of trainers now, you know, because everything's literally almost costing you 100 pounds minimum no matter what you're doing. So Puma are doing a good job here. JD has done a good job with pricing these as well. And I would definitely say, it's definitely one to try and get to have in your collection. If you haven't had Puma before, go and have a look. If you're going to start, probably one of the best ones to start off with please like i said at the beginning of the video please like subscribe hit notification bells comment let's talk love talking to everyone but i'm out patrick t peace